Hi, this is Natalie at the Cross Stitch Cupboard in beautiful Wilton Manors, Florida. We have a guest star today. This is Miss Mary. Hey, how are you? Now, Mary's going to tell us all about the contest that they're having here every year. Uh, did they have it last year? No. They did not do it last year. Except for last year, which yeah. was a weird year. In the last 40 years that this store has been in, the only year that they haven't, they've done this annual contest. I've personally entered a few times. I did not get my entry in in time, so I'm not up there. But I get to oodle at all these beautiful, amazing projects. So let's begin. What is number one? Okay, number one, we have the Twin Mermaids by Mirabilia. Twin Mermaids by Mirabilia. This is our extra large category. What's number two? The second one Speak is loud. Queen. <laughs> Queen Anne's Lace by Lavender and Lace. Oh, that's very pretty. The I think I know the third one. Third one is The Village of Hawk Run Hollow by Carriage House Samplings. Isn't that pretty? I gotta get a close up. You know how much stitching that is? My God. Every one of them in this category are just amazing. Oh, yeah. Okay, next we have another. Okay, these four, these are four separate pieces, but we've put them up there together because they're so beautiful. It's the English Summer Garden Series by Jean Farish. Very pretty. Okay. And then our last one is a mystic stitch called T for Two. This is yes, solid. That is a full coverage piece. Isn't that amazing? Wow. Right, turn the page here. All right. So okay. let me let me just pull back a little bit. Okay. It is very hard to uh, hold this up like this. Yeah, I bet. Um, there is a little bit of a reflection. I apologize, but these are the large ones now. And we, the let's first see. one is the Flip Flower by Vickery, V I C K E R Y. Second one. Second one is Strelitzia which is Bird of Paradise, by Glendon Place. Oh, I'm right next to you. I don't have to yell, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going I'm to move back behind you okay. so you can get a better view of these beautiful projects. Third one is Pretty Pumpkins, also by Glendon Place. Very nicely done. Beautiful, oh, Maddie. That's actually... A lot, a lot of stitching, just gorgeous. It is, it is. And next? Uh, we have Santa's Village 1 by Soda Stitch. I'm going to, that's very cute. And the one underneath is the Little Sheep Virtues by Little House Needleworks. Little Sheep Virtues. So they're all individual, right? Correct. Each pattern comes separately and... Obviously, there are 12 of them. I really like them uh, grouped together like that. Yeah. All right, yeah. so now we're in the medium, correct? Or are these still correct. large? Yeah, these are medium. Medium, okay. Yep. Okay, the first one is E Pluribus Unum by Summerhouse Stitchworks. Make sure you speak. Next. Um, Heaven and Nature Sing by Kathy Barrick oh. is below it. Oh, wait, wait. I'm on the next one, so let me go to that one. Actually, that looks much better than even I thought. Yeah. It came yeah. out beautiful. Heaven and Nature Sing. Okay, and down below that one is called Witches in the Air by Not Forgotten Farms. Very pretty. Yeah. And then next to it... Uh, Anne Wright, 1726. Wait. Um, no, that's a flower one. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. That one is... Um, Bouquet of Orchids, and that is actually a no-count cross-stitch. Oh, that's really cool, yeah. that no-count. I'm going to show people. We have a, There's a whole bunch on the wall there. Yeah, we have a lot of kits, and that you stitch over what is painted on the canvas, and then once you finish stitching, you wash it, and it looks just like you've cross-stitched it regularly, but it's no-count. Pretty cool. Okay, above that is a Portuguese sampler. Oh, I love this. This is by Carriage House. The the um, it's sort of a sampler on a sampler kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I really like that. I've never seen that before. Wow, gorgeous. 
and then we got the one on top. The one on top is Anne Wright, 1726, by Sampler is Not Forgotten. Nice. And now we have miscellaneous? Yes, this is our miscellaneous category. Holy cow, yeah. look at that. Isn't that cool? That's from Dark Shadows by uh, Sue Hillis. I'll have to ask you who did that. I'm, now okay. I'm curious how cute. That wasn't yours, is it? No, huh? No, I, Something I you would here, do. I can't put anything in. Oh, well, yeah. I guess that would be a, a conflict of interest, but uh, this is pretty amazing. Yeah. Yep. Um, that were. Below that is Easter Row by Bent Creek. Looks like a Bent Creek. Yeah. Oh, my stomach. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now? Um, we have Forest by Satsuma Street. Modern looking. The pillow, yep. Next to that is the Tudor B by Blue Flower. Okay. Below that, the Beach Houses, Beach Cab uh, Cabanas, Beach Cabanas, it's a kit, a Mill Hill kit. Very cute actually, really nice. Uh, and then we've got... Okay, the Dog Pillow. What dog pillow? Oh, there's like a, a dog bone. pillow, yeah. Sorry, I'm just going in order It's okay. Here. <laughs> the dog pillow? Yeah, that is a dimensions kit called Dog's Love. That's kind of cool. Isn't that cute? I mean, it's, it looks completely different in the pillow. Yeah. That's a dimensions yeah. kit, wow. Yeah. They're an oldie but a goodie. <laughs> and then we have the C pillow is called Ocean's, Ocean Spells by Primitive Hair. And that's her linen. That's her linen. Yes. Everything looks good on her linen yes, that she it does. Yes, does. definitely does. I love the octopus. And then we have Cookies for Santa from New York Dreamer on the um, rolling pin. I love those rolling pin finishes. I, I think they're so neat. I think we're up to smalls, right? You want to start at the, begin at the top or the bottom? Top left. Wanna... All right, hold on. Let me pan up there slow because otherwise it... I am not a professional <laughs> filmmaker here, but we try. Okay, that is called Cats in the Rain by Madame Chantilly. That is so adorable, and I'm a cat lover, so yes. That's cute. Are you going to go down or over? Uh, I'll go down, I guess. Okay, down, uh, let's see. Vicky's Essence by Kesslin. Wait, that's Vicky's Essence by Kesslin? No, that's got to be... That, that queen thing is, is S4, that is Vicky's Essence? That's what it says here. It might be a mistake, but okay. Because that one looks like Kesslin, um, the, the heart Six. one. Six. Oh, yeah. she's got it written twice. Yeah. That's the problem. I'm sorry, I don't know That's what okay. four is. Queen of quite a lot is more than likely the name of it, but we'll figure out. All right, we'll have to add that later. Yeah. Okay, yes, Vicky's Essence, you're correct, is... Kesslin. Kesslin, yes. And below that is Winter. I've seen this more than once. Such yeah. beauty. I love it. Yeah. Winter Cometh by Summer House. I love how she makes that go lighter in the middle. It's almost like the sun's coming through the window. I mm -hmm. think that is so cool. It's almost like it's stitched on something different. Yeah, I love it. it. Oh. And then below that, we have the Starfish Wedding by Imaginating. Very cool. Oh. Okay. And then there's one here that is one of my personal favorites. I've never stitched it, um, but it's called Good Tidings of Joy. Oh, okay, sorry. Yes. Uh, Tidings of Joy by Needlework Press. And there's something really cool about that. I love, that. I love yeah, it. That may have I, to I just, be done. I know, it's on my list too. I'm like, <laughs> oh no. And Beachy Mood is above that. Love it's the frame. Like Cross Eyed yeah. Cricket. Yeah, that's one of the old lobster traps from the Keys. I've got mine at home. Yeah, and then the s blue one with the Santa is Vivement Noel. Oh, by Jardine Privé. Sorry, I do not speak French. So V-I-V-E-M-E-N-T, Noel. And then next to that is Elizabeth Pickford by Pineberry Lane. Very cute. Now we're up to the needle point. I don't have any names, but these are all, uh, they're stand, uh, like, what do they call that? Painted? Painted, painted canvases. Painted canvases. And aren't they cute? These are these three leg things. Seeing these needle point once makes me want to do needle point. Check out this lady. Wow. That's incredible.
Now look at this thing in the back. Um, <laughs> it's got all these different stitches. It's a wreath. I, it's something else. And look at the Santa with the beard. A fuzzy beard. I love it. Oop. And there's a really funky looking uh, reindeer. And another really Christmassy ornament looking thing. Oh, they're so pretty. I don't needlepoint. I did back in the 1970s with my mom, and she still has the pillow I made. Um, and this one is uh, a beautiful pillow. What's cool about needlepoint nowadays, you know, when I did it, it was all just, uh, oh, look at him. It was all just one stitch, in and out, in and out, up and down, one stitch, and now they have many stitches and specialty fibers and I mean just so different so much more elaborate it's beautiful wow so that's the contest I am not going to tell you guys who I will vote for that's a secret but I do have some personal favorites here for sure what else are we doing in this store? Well, you know I always show you goodies. Well, we've got some interesting goodies. First, I'm going to show you these lobster traps because some people asked me about them because I did that nice finish, the beach walk finish on the lobster trap. I don't know where your beach walk fit. He was sitting right there. <laughs> this, these are uh, beautiful lobster traps made in the Florida Keys. What happened is we had a very big hurricane a few years ago. And um, the hurricane destroyed 90% of the lobster traps. So actually that year we went lobstering and we had the best year we ever had because we had no competition with the traps, but there were a lot of debris. And somebody, more than one person actually, but this particular person makes awesome frames. So I just wanted to show you them. Um, there's also one, another frame I saw, yeah. So they make them, as you can see, this one is sort of uh, just wood, but they have the ones with the barnacles, which I like even better. You see that barnacle frame there? Isn't that the bomb? So uh, Karen sells them here. Uh, they pretty much come in set sizes, but I don't know, would they make custom ones? Yes. yes. Okay, so they will make custom pieces for you. So. We can't I love get it. The barnacles, though. They can't. No, the barnacles are gone. Barnacles are gone. So all they have right now are just non-barnacled ones. I guess those went quick. I have. I was lucky. I have a barnacle one. Mm -hmm. But very, very cool. If you're interested in any of these frames, um, they have a few in stock. Just stock frames, I know, or at least she did. Isn't that cool? I wanted to show you Mary's beautiful bags. This repurposing is so in now. Now this was an old dresser scarf. Pillowcase, actually. Uh, this was a pillowcase. Excuse me, That's pillowcase. Okay. That's okay. Um, doesn't matter. Somebody put a lot of time and effort into that, and Mary made it into a project bag. She, she's got a snap on that. I like do like the snap. Beautiful coordinating fabric. I'm going to show you a bunch of these. Ah, if you're interested, you can call over here and get them. Look at this one. This one is done out of an old quilt. Isn't that pretty? Uh, this one is made out of an old tablecloth. Now, I actually gave her this tablecloth. <laughs> it was sitting in my cabinet, but look how pretty it is. It's just an envelope made out of a tablecloth. And... Uh, she did a good job with this. She said she can barely cut it because it's somebody's work. And then, of course, she's got the regular one. She's got this doggy one, a Florida one. Here's another one. Now, this is an old scarf. I like how they did the, they always did like, not always, but some people did a, uh, a border, like a crochet border around it. But this looks good with the red and the black. So it's an old scarf. This is the clothespin thing. So that's a vintage 
clothespin bag, and she actually left it as a pocket on the front, which I like. It's kind of cool. I think this is so cool. In fact, this is so cool that this is going in my pile. <laughs> That's how cool it is. Um, this was made out of an old um, baby blanket that somebody had hand-stitched and had long been discarded. Isn't it pretty? I mean, these are really, these are antique. These are antique, uh, ant antique, these might even be 1800s, 1800s fabric. I'm just going through these. I showed you a lot of these on my last video. She has a whole bunch hanging, so I'm going to show you that. But the antique ones are really cool. They're perfect for your prim projects and rustic projects. Goodness gracious, I'm just, this is a really big one. But I do want to show you, oh, sneak peek at Christmas. That will be Christmas in July. I celebrate Christmas all year. Why not in July? But I am going to show you. This thing ended up here. I'm not sure how, but fabric. Do you see this Liberty Humpty Dumpty? This is one of those old cut and sew things. I made one in Home Ec many, many years ago. And this is a Humpty Dumpty. And uh, very, very cool looking. I love it. Let's just look at some of these uh, more fabric bags she's got hanging. I like how she did the clothesline from the uh, from the ceiling. I think that's a great idea. Look at the lobster one she has. Lobster fabric. Um, old kitchen fabric. That kitchen one's super cool. Hold on. Oh, sorry about that. That kitchen one is super cool. And uh, this one is uh, fairy tales. Here's another one made with an old, that is definitely a scarf. Just some beautiful fabrics. Some more of the antique ones, truly antique. Some parrots. It looks like a Jimmy Buffett kind of thing. Wow. So these these are only sold out of the cross stitch cupboard. So if you're interested, you got to call over here and uh, they'll mail order them for you. They're beautiful. They're different for sure. Of course, I always want to show you what's new and we'll look and see what's new. First off, I'm going to show you my finish. This was framed. Ann Morrison. This is coming home with me. Isn't that a perfect frame? And I did it under glass. I do samplers under glass many times because I think that's the way that they would look if you bought the antique sampler. But look at these finishes. Now this is from this book called Hair Seasons. I got to go through this book with you because I didn't know all this stuff was in here. So first off, you've got the strawberry stuff. But then, can I do this one-handed? <laughs> you've got, oh, let's try this one-handed. You've got this Oceanarium treasure box. And you want to see this in a different color? you got to see this. Mary made this. Isn't that a cool finish? And she got this in North Carolina. Uh, somewhere and it's like one of those soap dish things and she put the octopus on top of the octopus isn't that a cute finish and she did it in a purple color which is really neat I always tell people I said you don't have to stick to the colors that are that are um, that are listed you can change them up that's a cool color too I do like it in black you can do a cup finish with this. I mean, there's so many different things. Let's see. I'm going to go through this. This is uh, another project that's in here called Summer House. Here's all the strawberry projects. 
Here's this purse. I, I think this purse is so pretty. I'd love to see it done. I don't know where you'd buy the top of that purse to finish it. Um, what did she say? Did she write anything here? Um, it says complete kit is available by the Primitive Hair, so you can buy this on her website, it looks like. And um, when the sun goes down, um, and, okay, so she always has like interesting things to go along with it. This is one of those uh, thread keeps, another one. And look at this finish. This is the sea hag. Now, this is a unique finish. She put this on a on a really bright and beautiful fabric. I mean, this is a high quality fabric. Such a difference when you look at the some of the really cheapo fabrics versus this, just so vivid and bright. And she put the sea hag on here. The sea hag's also in this book. I don't know what page it's on. I obviously missed it. Ah, here it is. So it's on her special fabric. It's called Pirate's Linen. And this is just a unique way of finishing it. Isn't that cool? Another finish here that is new is th this. This is called Spring Doxology by Rabbit Valley, Rabbit Valley Studio. Isn't that pretty? Mary also did that. I love the beautiful uh, tatted, tatted lace, I think? Yes. Tatted lace. And this is stitched on 46 count, so it's very fine. I mean, it's so pretty and delicate. I what? correct you, it's 53. Excuse me, it's 53. I had 46 in my mind here. <laughs> it's 53 count. Now, I own a piece, one or two pieces of 53 count, and I do not do not, uh, I haven't stitched on it. Um, what floss did you use on that? That's always my issue, is I can't use regular floss on it. Um, that's a good question. <laughs> you don't remember? I, you, I, would, I would imagine you probably could use thread, like sewing thread, if you wanted to. It's so fine. <laughs> Let me see what they called for. Oh, is it called for on 53? No, it's called for on 32. But it's DMC. But yeah, I just use DMC and Classic Color Works. The called for. But that was and one, one? One strand. And it doesn't look too bunched up at all. It looks great. Wow. I didn't know you can use just regular, you can do that. Sure. Sure. Wow. That came out, that came out really nice. Thank you. I, I've never heard of uh, Rabbit Valley Studio, actually. That's a new one. Oh, gee. It's another new <laughs> designer. <laughs> Well, in with, in with the new, out with the old. I'll show you some other stuff that I spied today. I actually walked all around the store looking for something to, uh, and I'll show you guys, to make for my brother. It's his uh, 25th wedding anniversary, and I wanted to make a beautiful, a beautiful uh, sampler or something for him, and I found a anniversary piece, and I'll show you that. In fact, on my on my Facebook group page, somebody had mentioned uh, mentioned it. The same one. These are just made of old quilts as well. Pre-finished, beautiful little, oops, beautiful little um, gifts for your stitchy friends. Pin cushions. That piece is real pretty. That is by Jeanette Douglas. You see how it was finished in this wooden thing. And then this thing. Um, this is right up my alley. Somebody made this as well. It is just, I mean, look at all the work that went into it. Isn't that pretty? So, just a pre-made item. Just a pre-made item that you could, uh, that you could buy for yourself or a friend. So let's go on here. There is some new fabric. Oh, I forgot to show you. It's over here, so let's just go back this way. I don't want to pan too quick. Then I get this thing that flashes up and it says, you are moving too quickly. <laughs> so 
new fabrics from Australia. These are the fox and rabbit fa fabrics. They are very saturated colors and they're beautiful. This pink is, is quite exceptional. It looks very bright on my on uh, the camera at least, but it is a soft pink. It's real pretty. Here's some American chestnut, 36 count. This stuff is like gold. I think there's a full yard of it too. So she got that in. That's she always puts her new stuff up here. Oh, and I got to show you something new that Mary's making. These are needlework rolls. So this is perfect. If you want to travel or or go to a retreat and put your roll, your needlework project in the roll, I think this is just great. It's got this uh, material. I guess this is like a batting material. You can put your needles in here. You can put two projects in here and roll them up, and they will stay perfect. So I really like these. She's also making them custom, meaning for the size, if you have a big project, she can make a big one. So that you can call on and say, hey, what fabric you want, or what style, what color, what size, and she'll make them. Aren't they? I thought they were great. So she's also, I think, I heard in the grapevine that Mary might be making these little mats, these work mats, so when you go to your retreat and you have your your space you now have a mat that you put all your things on like a placemat like as if you went to dinner and uh, just another little stitchy funness that's what I'm gonna call that funness always take a peek always take a nice peek at the at the fabric at the linen let's see just tons of all counts of linen and there's also uh, even weave there's jobelin and here's the higher counts and Lugana I couldn't remember the word this is all 36 count linen I'm gonna have to go spy and see what's in here 36 and 40 count linens these are let me tell you like gold now sells out like crazy there's a whole mix in there i don't know what's in there afterwards i'll take a look oh i think that's let's see lemon ice that's lakeside linen 40 count lakeside once again that is like gold i don't know if lakeside ever went out of business or retired i think people would uh would start to hoard it <laughs> more than they are now and of course, there's lots and lots of other materials. You know, you've got all your, your Ada, including some of this uh, very low count Ada, which is kind of neat. I actually like doing stuff on it. <laughs> I think it's, uh, it's cool. There are also some back issues that I found of the hollow, just cross stitch Halloween Magazine. I'm going to look through that and I'm beginning to collect those. I have a bunch of the just cross stitch back issues of the Christmas, the Christmas ornament issues. But, you know, right now I, I really like the ornament issues. Those are my favorite. And actually the back issues I think are even better than the new ones. So we'll have to go through here. I know there's some 2000 and beyond. I don't think they made these Halloween ornament issues uh, for as many years as they've made the the regular um, the regular uh, issues, you know, the Christmas ones. And before you know it, it's going to be fall, and they have a ton of fall projects. We'll be showing you. I'm sure Mary is working on new fall projects, but there's a ton of stuff up here, and before you know it, it will be fall. So I'm just walking through the store with you in case there's something you, that you need. Now there was a guy sitting over here and he, he dumped this on the floor. <laughs> I, I almost laughed, but um, 
These are all silky threads. I recently used them and they're great. These little silky petites, they're really great. And um, I like these colors. I'm gonna maybe pick up some of these colors. Aren't they great? They're so pretty. These are very, uh, very saturated. And just, just real pretty. And what's nice is that you're just using one one strand instead of having to separate it. So I really like that a lot. Oh my goodness. So now we're at the back table. Soon there will be stitchers here every Saturday and I believe they meet on Wednesdays. Do they meet here Wednesdays? I think. Or during the week. I won't get you. No worries. <laughs> so far it's just me. Yeah, there is one person here. And she, she comes every Saturday, I think, to stitch. And uh, I'm spying some new stuff, so let's just go around and see what we got. Uh, first off, there's some silks here. These are au versois. Oh, I'm gonna, just so pretty. What is this? My goodness, I have no idea what this is. That looks like it's Russian. What the heck is this in Russian? Mary, do you know what this is? That is definitely a like a Russian language. It's a new one to me. It's a new one to you, so we're going to have to ask Karen about it's it. It's definitely Russian. Um, it's definitely Russian. It's free, it looks like. Free? Yeah. <laughs> it means there's there no price more? on it. Just no, it's just for, it, it just ended up here. Isn't that strange? Interesting. You never know what you find in this store. I'm telling you, you find all kinds of goodies here. I find goodies all the time here. There's some more of these little yeah. projects. These are mesh project bags. There's nothing wrong with them. What I like about these is that you can see through them. <laughs> so you, you sort of know what's in here. Um, and they're small. These are like for little things. Let's look at the table. All the new stuff is usually in the back here. Oh, before we go new, out of the corner of my eye, just to show you, we've got, this is all filled with fall. That's just a highlight of things to come. You will be seeing this later. And before you know it, another month or so, another month or two. So this is, I'm gonna find out what this is and I think it's kind of cool. It's from Russia, so maybe she got a sample of it somewhere. Uh, this is a bunch of silks, chronic silks. Karen told me she was going to be carrying NPI. I don't know where she put them, but she told me that was uh, in the works. So finally she'd be carrying some silks. I'm happy about that. Let's see what we got on the table. I'm assuming this is all new. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's all NPI. Oh, I didn't know. I'm gonna go look at it. This is all new stuff, right? Pretty yes. much? Mm -hmm. Pretty much. Yeah. Madame Chantilly. Oh, I saw this. Isn't that cute? I like that little, whatever that is. <laughs> New Ori TM. Ori TM has the funkiest stuff. Like, you look at this, and your first look is it's a Quaker, and then I'm sure there's some interesting little motifs in here. This one's pretty tame compared to a lot of hers. She has, like, she'll put, like, a Disney person in there or something interesting. That's the new Ori TM. This is the new mill on the floss samplers. This is Harriet Fay. These are a really new, a really new um, designer. I love the fabric it's on. It's real pretty. This is uh, Strawberry Harvest by Cottage Garden. That's brand new. I showed that on my page. It's a piece of... And then we've got some books. This is Stitch Graffiti. I don't know if this is a new book, but this is some unusual, unusual uh, cross stitch, modern, modern cross stitch. Uh, this is 
This looks like brand new. A celebration of 40 years of needlework by Weichelt Imports. I don't know what this book is. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful projects in here. Check that out. I think that's super cool. Mary, look at that. That's super cool. That's so cute. Isn't that adorable? That's really cute. That is, uh, this reminds me, we didn't have a pool when I grew up, so uh, we had the sprinkler. Mm -hmm. That's what we had, and um, you would run in the sprinkler. And, and that really reminds me, I would do that. There's an awful lot of stitching in that, but I would definitely do that. Looking at it. And this is, actually they give you a lot about the different designers in here. Um, this is a great book. Uh, That's the first time I've seen this book. I think they're like three dollars a piece, if not much. These are these are great. I I I, I was just talking about those. Mm -hmm. Just beautiful, beautiful things. So this book is by Whitechell. Forty years, and it's got it's twenty six dollars, but there's <laughs> probably mm -hmm. I don't know about fifteen projects in here. It's really pretty. I I, I think that's nice. Here's something unusual I've never seen. This is Repertoire de Motifs, and it's more than a book. Um, it's, there's also some, uh, some paper in here, but this has got, look at all the different motifs for making your own sampler. Oh, let me look at that fish. Oh, we just did, oh. That is a, that is that almost looks like my halibut. You uh, saw my halibut. Well, you gotta have the book then, that. Oh, this book. I don't know. <laughs> it looks just like a halibut to me. It does look like a halibut. Oh God, do I have to buy this book now just for the halibut? Yeah. Just for the halibut, we'll buy the book. Yeah. Um, this is a great book. Let's see, how much is this book before I even go there? Um, Probably it's in euros. Probably back top right hand. Corner. It's forty-two dollars, and that's that goes around. That's thirty-one euros. So that's about right. Um, I think the book's in French, but it doesn't matter. You don't. The the cross stitch is universal language. DMC is French, so you're fine. <laughs> DMC is French. That's right. Um, there's all kinds of fish in here. This is this is super cool. Um, I've never seen this book ever and I may never see it again so I'm gonna have to think this is a I, I may end up taking that book of course this is the proper stitch this was uh, Darlene Osteen's of the Needles Praise she passed away recently and um, this has been reprinted this is a classic for your library it's got stitches and stitches and stitches um, instructional reference book this book is $35 and worth every penny. Oh, there's some hands-on design stuff. Oh, what is this? Oh, these go, this, these are pieces of fabric for making these little pinwheels. So I guess that's just a whole bunch of fabric. Isn't that cool? So let's, let's go to the other side. I always take you to different things. Every time that I do this video, you will see different things. New things, old things. Oh, and I got to show you some finds. So let's go, let's go to the front. This is the newest blue flower. Um, I think that this octopus is the coolest thing ever. <laughs> so these are four four designs. Um, this guy is really cool too. And this is also by the Blue Flower. I, I, uh, it says, from nature to my needle. That's a very, very pretty sampler. Um, Winter Woods. This is the Prairie Schooler 2021 Santa. I still don't get it. I, the Prairie Schooler has uh, retired, but I guess she had a bunch of Santas that she still is releasing. So there's uh, this is the new one, the new Santa. Um, what's nice about this? This one is a Paris chart, and this is by the Elegant Thread, 
And here is the fabric, and here is the floss. So you can buy it as a little kit. Isn't that nice? I just love, love those. And I believe that is, it's got sulky petites. Uh, here's some, here's a new saltwater scrapbook by Lindy. More fish. Oh, and Lindy Stitches has more, uh, oh my goodness, you know what these little guys remind me of? Epcot, the sea. Those little, those little guys. Oh, I may buy this. I may have to do that one. Oh, gee. Okay, so come with your wallet when you come here for sure. <laughs> this is Language of Liberty by Hands on Designs. This is a new design. This is um, lettuce turn. This is a vegetable thing, <laughs> also by Hands on Designs. These are new. Oh, we'll just go through this. This is Flea Market Flowers by Lori Holt. Her stuff is so pretty, so bright and cheery. Another hands on design back here. This is uh, summer. Let's talk summer. Let's see what's back here. This is Bendy Stitchy. We're all mad here. And these are uh, more Lori Holt. I don't know if you can see that. Just more. These are stitch cards. Very, very pretty stuff. This is From the Heart, Needle Art by Wendy. These are new. Sometimes I'm not sure what's new, what's not here. Um, this is by the Marking Sampler, a Quaker pin mattress. It's a nice little thing. This I know is new as well. This is by Nora Corbett. I think this is awesome. It's a silhouette, but it's so cool looking. Uh, I really like that. I would do that. This is the uh, some new heartstring samplery, the new Sunday stitches. Tis an ocean, vast of blessing. Tis a haven, sweet of rust. Very pretty. Um, up here, I did see the new Tellen Emblem. If you've never heard of Tellen Emblem, they're gorgeous. I mean, that's just a burst of color. This looks like a Florida backyard with bees and ants and <laughs> everything. Um, I, I really like that a lot. More heartstring samplery back here, but I don't know how new that is. There was a whole new area behind me, so let's just go real quick. Once again, so much stuff just just amazing. But I saw a new just arrived thing. So let's, let's see. Oh, here's the primitive hair fabric, by the way, in case you're interested. That's that C fabric, Royal B. I mean, she's just got beautiful fabrics, beautiful printed fabrics. I like her regular fabric too. It's quite nice. Oh, I have a lot of fabric trying not to buy more, <laughs> trying to de-stash them. Here's some, this all says new. Um, this is new, Peppermint Candy by Blackberry Lane. I could tell you these in real life are magnificent, but they're little, little houses. Let's go, th I'm gonna thumb through this Friendship Garden by Heart and Hand. Just thumbing through Kesslin, cross stitch fun. This is actually a very interesting Quaker-esque sampler. It's got cats in it. It's got reindeer, birds. I mean, if you look at all the little motifs, this is an, this is an incredibly interesting 
piece. I um I really do like this. I like this like I mean here's here's this done in like a gray and on the back she shows it done in in fanciful fanciful different colors. I don't know how I would do this. Um I just think this is this is one of the nicest pieces I've seen in a long time. It's just uh, cool. Kesslin has some great stuff. But um, I really like that a lot. Some new heartstring samplery. She never uh, disappoints. Let's see, we've got a lot of Americana, this Liberty. I mean, there's nothing not to like here. It's amazing. Uh, this is by Monte, Monte, Monticello, Monticello Stitches. These are new. I don't know how new these are, new to the, I know that they just came out with some. Uh, this is probably a new Stony Creek deer in the woods stocking. Holy moly, that's beautiful. That's really beautiful. It's a lot of stitching. Did you see this? That's nice. Oh, I, that is nice. Isn't that nice? That easy to stitch though. Easy? It would. Yeah, because you're just. I love it on the green. Yeah. You know, it's not as big as I thought. I'm looking at the chart. Now, if you stitch this all in white, boy, you'd have to take a break. But I got to tell you, that's nicer. That is really pretty. You probably could do this in a different color color scheme if you wanted. Just going back. What is this? This is Hands Across the Sea, Marie Louise Perret. Hands Across the Sea has a wonderful amount, I mean an amazing amount of samplers and she just bangs them out. And this I believe is her new, is like a new format where it's done in this hard book. I love this. I like the sampler too, but I love the format. I think that's really cool. Oh, let's see, what is this nutcracker? See, this is OreTM. This is typical OreTM where they have funky things in a Quaker manner. So there's a whole mix, mix of stuff in here. Now, I did want to show you something I found. Actually, you know what? It's back here. I did want to show you something I found uh, in the some unusual stuff. First off, I really like this. All a good night. That is that is by La Dida. Just a beautiful, beautiful piece. And look what I found with this ring. Now, over there, and I know I've showed you this before. Let's get a close up. There's these little figurines. There's there's a pilgrim, a male and a female pilgrim. Um, there's uh, the same chart also has a, uh, a, uh, an Indian and, and all different. It, it's got a lot of neat stuff. Well, in the same genre by Needle Love Company, you've got this wedding one. I think that's so cool. I'm going to buy it because I'm hoping my daughter gets married soon and I can make these for her. I also can make these for my stepdaughter who just got married. I think she'd appreciate it. But I think these are super cool, so I'm gonna buy that. Um, there is one more here. That's it, you'll never find these. These are these are out of print, but they're very cool. So that's one, these are two things I found in my, in my looking. And then this is the Schoolroom Alphabet book by uh, Vicki Lopiccolo and Megan Jeanette. And I gotta tell you, I look through this book and it's a beautiful book. I mean, it is just chock full of stuff. So many different projects that uh, I was blown away just seeing this. And the price, it is $20, $29, but there's so many projects. Uh, Vicki outdid herself with this book, so I might take that home with me as a reference book. I just love it, and I don't know. That's, that's a maybe. 
So she also has some of these t-shirts. These t-shirts, I believe, were made by Kit, Kit and Stitcher. She's got a few of these. There are some sale charts. I'm not going to, I'm going to go through those. We'll see what we find. And I did want to show you all the MPI silks. She's got a full line of MPIs. Or I don't know, with all these colors. So if you need MPI silks, Karen now has it. I think we're going to come to an end. I did want to show you other things. I, I mean, I'm just going to give you a taste. These, these little, these racks have many, many designers and uh, all different projects. And I was thumbing through it, and there's some amazing things in here. I was going to go through these racks. Um, the other thing I was going to show you was just some of the samplers that are out of print. But we have to leave something for next time. So I hope you enjoy this video. Please comment and uh, feel free to contact me. You can contact me at the Vintage Cross Stitch Niche on Facebook. Bye now.